Hello there, friends. Chef to Herself is with you again. I'm Jim Davis, and behind the camera, our cameraman and director, Svetlana Davis. Hello. This summer, guys, we've been enjoying an abundance of veggies, which made us to take a look in our old recipe book for well-forgotten recipes. And we found one, which we'd like to introduce to you. For this purpose, we invite you to a culinary trip to Central Europe, to Hungary, where this recipe derives from. The name of the dish is lecho in Hungarian, which is, could be uh, loosely translated as probably a sweet pepper stew. It's very simple yet tasty. Let me introduce you to the ingredients. Bell peppers. Here you see I've got four red and two orange. Uh, basically we need here from two to two and a half pounds. One red onion, white part of leek, some garlic, just half of a teaspoon of red Hungarian paprika, eight ounces of tomato sauce, olive oil, a little water, salt, pepper. That's it. What we need to do now is just to chop those vegetables, saute them, and our dish will be ready. Let's start slicing our peppers. This dish originated from Hungary and Pretty soon, it spread into all Central European countries and even Germany. In Germany, this dish, for example, served with their smoked sausages. And in Hungary itself, it served also with their pork sausage, which they put directly into the lecture. Oh, well, that's delicious. It is delicious. But also, at the same time, Lecce could be used as a side dish and also could be used as a separate dish. You can eat it cold, hot, equally tasty. Now we need to slice our onion. A little life hack, guys. You know, there are two ways to slice the onions. We can slice it like this, a long the lines. And we also can slice like this. You know the difference. They're almost the same, but one of the theories says that when slicing the onion like that, it will help to preserve juices. And while cooking, the onion will be very juicy. When we slice it like this, it helps to release uh, the juices into the dish we're cooking. So, the choice is yours. Now we slice the leek. Uh, original recipe doesn't contain leek, but we love to add it because we believe it adds special, special taste. And now a last ingredient for chopping, some garlic. Uh, we need just coarsely chop it, and that's going to be it. All the veggies are chopped, ready to go to the stove. Let's saute our vegetables. Olive oil. About five tablespoons. Now, onions. We saute these onions for about three minutes. I believe it's ready, and we added our we're adding our uh, garlic and leek, and we'll saute it for another three minutes. We need to stir it all the time. We don't want to get our onions brown. 
So stir it all the time, like this. Time to add bell peppers. And stir it. Adding water, approximately one quarter of a cup. And stirring it again. We're covering our pork with a lid and leaving for five minutes to sateen. Let's take a look. Oh. Nice. We're adding eight ounces of tomato sauce. Paprika. About one teaspoon of salt. And some pepper. Upon your taste, guys. Now we reduce heat to four. Closing the lid and leaving for 15 minutes. Guys, take a close look at these two. If there is not enough liquid, just add some water. I believe we've got enough liquid, so we don't need water. Let's check out the simmering, guys. Wow, beautiful. Exactly what we need. And what we expect. Finally, our dish is ready. Guys, have you noticed how simple it was? We did it in no time, basically. Just cooking. Well, let's try it. Mmm, majestic, great. Well, now, today is going to be a little bit different, my, friend, my friends. We prepared two different ways to serve this dish. First, that's as you see, beautiful, thick lion pork chop with some French beans. Our lecha will be perfect, perfect addition to this dish. Let's put it here. And look how nice it is. Our second version is a vegetarian one. It's a rice bowl with fried tofu and snow peas. And I also do believe that our lecture will be an absolutely perfect addition to that. Let's put it here. And a little bit more. Look at this. How beautiful it is. I wish you could smell it. Two beautiful dishes with just one ingredient, I will let you. We're happy to introduce this recipe to you, our friends. And our traditional pairing, since Lecce is a Hungarian dish, traditional Hungarian dish, we will pair it with dry Hungarian wine from the legendary wine producing area called Tokai. Dear friends, to your health, to you being chefs to yourselves, and for you who always find time for cooking, we are really grateful that you've been with us for so long. 
and we'll try not to let you down with our recipes. We'll see each other really soon. See you, hell guys. Bye bye.